All right, guys, we are back for another Dokkan Battle video. Uh, we're going to go ahead and knock out this other story event that is going on here. This is the Frieza's Endless Ambition. So just like last year, there's two free-to-play characters that we'll be able to grind up. Uh, the LR is Beerus, um, and then this Frieza is going to be the other one. So this is just going to be... Again, last year, this character was the the Mr. Satan, right? The the really shitty, like, reviving one. This is going to be the character this year. Now, at the moment, I believe we can only get an SSR. Um, I mean, it looks like this Freeze is potentially a Super Boss's support type character, which is intriguing. Um, you know, Frieza... I don't think there's a heavy Frieza presence on Super Bosses. Let's double check in a second. All right, so we'll be able to get the new SSR Frieza um, Super Boss category characters give us extra drops. Uh, this, of course, is going to be the opening towards the Broly movie. Uh, right now, only the first stage has anything, just uh, the actual Frieza card right there. Commander-in-Chief Frieza First Form, okay. Um, and then Super Boss category, of course, gives us the um, increased drop rates. Now, real quick, um, let's let's jump over um, and let's jump into the first stage. But I don't think that there's really freezes on Super Boss, right? Like, so Super Boss, of course, gets us the increased drop rates. Uh, let's just take a look at the category Super Boss. Um, and yeah, there's like pretty much no freezes interesting okay uh well okay i guess there's there is the frieza from the broly movie the, the most recent one and then there, this frieza probably is going to get a free to play easy uh i would think that this frieza and this broly should i mean this is the celebration where these two characters should get their easy a's but no resurrection f freezes yeah they gotta, they gotta drop some Resurrection F characters here, man. Um, that's, that's what they're gonna need to do. We need some Resurrection F characters, uh, ready to go in here. Alright, let's just go ahead and jump in like this. Um, because, like, Resurrection F and Battle of Gods, both, we need it. Alright, so there's King Cold. Um, I would not mind if they gave us a, a unit for that King Vegeta and this King Cold. Right, neither of them have actual characters in-game either. Um, there's still quite a few things from the Broly movie because they've gone back to the Broly movie so infrequently, right? I guess this is kind of like the third celebration. We had the original New Year's celebration. We had the fifth anniversary, and then now we're going back for the ninth anniversary. Pretty crazy. Uh, and then this is kind of like, I guess this is going to be Frieza. Yeah, destroying planet Vegeta, because there's Bardock right there. Um, I gotta make sure to do the video for that Bardock and Gine. Could this Bardock get a Dokkan Fist? They probably would give... Bardock is such a popular character. They probably would and could give him a Dokkan Fist, but I'm not so sure. I guess I would be okay with it. Like, I, I do enjoy Bardock getting characters. Um, the, the DBZ Bardock was definitely a fun release, uh, when it came to his, uh, intro, um, but obviously when it comes to, like, you know, being, like, a, a character that can kind of, like, last a little while, oh, dude, the power level bonuses coming through. Grinding shit is just, like, way less of a nuisance with the power level bonus being a thing, man. So, it's, it, it is actually a really nice help. It's one of those things where, at first, it's like, ah, the power level bonus is okay, but... As it's gone on, it's like, I feel like I do get a lot of extra drops. Like, I, I, I really have come to like it, I think, quite a bit. Um, how nice it is to get, you know, again, the, those those power level uh, increased drops and stuff like that. Yeah, so we got a couple from the category bonus, and then we got the power level bonus one right there. That's very good, very good. Okay, so we got four, four copies right away. Um, let's go ahead and see what stage two is. I wonder, are we going to move into Resurrection F? Because, I mean, that that's pretty much the com freeze. Oh, well, I guess maybe it's going to cover the rest of the Broly movie? That wouldn't make a ton of sense. Yeah, no, we're skipping to Plan Dynamic. Okay. 
Um, and then maybe later stages um, w- uh, of this story event will, you know, w- will go back to like the the um, Broly movie and stuff like that. I, I, def- I definitely could see it. This, like, like that, that final form Frieza they were just showing us. We, I, I, I do think Namek for like Golden Week or Tanabata or something like that could be really cool. Um, you know, maybe. I, I mean, they could do like Tanabata. Like, what if they got a little creative and it's like, Final Form Frieza is like the Dokkan Festellar for Part One. And then it's like Kaioken Goku is like the Carnival LR for Tanabata. I think that could be pretty fun. Um, but I, I would like to see just Final Form Frieza get a Dokkan Fest. Remember, Frieza on Namek, uh, he has animations for second form, third form, final form, like even full power. So, like, there's so much stuff left on the table for Namek Frieza that they really could do numerous LRs and Dokkan Fests. Like, they easily could get just a ton of stuff from Namek still to come. And I, 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 I would like to see it actually happen, right? For sure. I do think a, a Kaioken Goku, it, it, there's, you know, early, early on in Dokkan, they released a lot of Kaioken Gokus. They used to call just attack stacking the Kaioken mechanic for a long time because it's like the, the AJL Kaioken Goku that had it, right? Like, that was a big thing. Um, so, I don't know. Like, we, we a Kaioken Goku, I think, would be pretty fire. Uh, they still need to do Saiyan Saga. Honestly, there's still a lot. Like, like it's crazy. Like, I... You know, now that we do finally have a new Dragon Ball series on the horizon, Dragon Ball Daima, and there's still so much stuff for them to do from the actual series, right? So, that, that is good. It's, like, good that it's, like, okay, like, we, you know, like, damn, let's, uh, Dokkan Original City, that's all we got left. Because I was going to start to talk about, like, Android Sa Cell Saga, and the big one I still want to see is, um, Super Saiyan Vegeta, right? Like, I think the fight from, against Android 19... That, as a Dokkan Fest, would be really cool. I would love that so much. Um, now, this this is not a Super Warrior Memorial. Yeah, no, this is just Frieza's Endless Ambition, is what this event is called. Uh, they We did get a glance, by the way, at what the Frieza's um, artwork, his TUR artwork, looked like. Like, they accidentally put um, the sticker and stuff in-game a little early. They've done that a couple of times. Okay, so now we're just... This is Mecha Frieza. Mecha Frieza, I think, could get a, a Dokkan Fest. I'd love to see one for them. Um, I mean, I, I'm pretty much in, on board in favor of most characters getting Dokkan Fest. Speaking of this Trunks right here, um, he finally got his Dokkan Fest. And then they used... Trunks got the short end of the stick with his animations a couple of times. Right? The Sword of Hope didn't really look that good. And then... The transformation animation they used for this Trunks was just from f- Fighters. Looks terrible. <laughs> I think it looks pretty terrible. Um, what they got to do is they need to redo that Trunks, um, but then have his anime, like like the anime transformation, um, as his intro. Oh my god, I that would be one of my favorite characters. Trunks' is Super Saiyan transformation in the anime is just so iconic. The fighters one is just like a, like it's just you know he kind of just like farts and he's super saiyan he's like yeah I'm super saiyan now. But the anime is like so dramatic and shit. Oh god, I, dude, I could see it. It would be so cool. I I I want it so bad. That trunks. I like like I dude I could do videos going over like every arcs. Like yeah they got to do this. Oh wow we're all the way into Dragon Ball deep into Dragon Ball Super territory now right. This is... Well, I guess this is... No, this is probably... It's probably going to be the start of Resurrection F. Um, I, I, I was going to say, is this Goku going to hell? But no, it's... Because I got to remember, Resurrection F opens with Mecha Frieza in the little cocoon in hell, right? Um, and then he ends up back in that um, at the end of Resurrection F. Because he, he is Mecha Frieza um, in the little cocoon at the start of the movie, right? All right, well, there's that. As of right now, there's only the three stages. Um, I guess let me just uh, grind up the freezer real quick, rainbow him, uh, and then we can finish up. 
Alrighty, so here we go. Here is the Frieza. Uh, let's go ahead and give Frieza a Rainbow Star, um, and we will prepare for when uh, new stages get added to the event uh, as per Part 2. Uh, we know, again, that uh, Frieza's uh, TUR character, it is still just this same first form Frieza, too, from uh, Dragon Ball Super Broly, so... Let me know what you guys think about uh, the Frieza's Ambition event and, of course, the free-to-play Frieza. Uh, definitely some potential as a Super Boss's support character. That could be very good. So let me know what you guys think, and I'll catch you all next time.